Eight fail-proof ways to be a smarter Muslim. Define smart. What does it mean to be a smarter Muslim? Imagine it's the day of judgment. You see a man who gained everything there was in the world. He was called the ultimate smart guy. Yet he has nothing much accumulated for the harsh reality of the day of judgment. Now think, how smart was this guy really? The real smart person is the one who wins the game on the day of judgment and attains maximum good in the hereafter even if he lost some temporary benefits in this temporary world. If you want to really be smart, follow these tips. Stick to the Quran. Whenever you get confused, stick to the Book of Allah for protection, healing, guidance and light and stay away from doubtful matters. Allah says, say it is for those who believe a guidance and cure. This is there in Surah Fusilat. Follow the Prophet the smart man. Allah says, Allah says, say O Muhammad, If you should love Allah, then follow me, so Allah will love you and forgive you your sins. And Allah is forgiving and merciful. This is there in Surah Ali Iman. He was more generous, compassionate, virtuous, easygoing, just, friendlier and a smarter Muslim than anyone you will ever know. He put Allah first, prioritized the hereafter and didn't lose himself in the petty pleasures of this temporary mirage of a world. Smart move, ain't it? What better example do we need? Set smart goals and achieve them. Whether it's your personal life or business, vague, overambitious and unplanned goals don't work. Instead, use your vision for Jennifer Firdaus to guide you in setting smart goals to achieve all your dreams. Smart goals are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and have a time frame. Because they're measurable, you can track your progress over time. To be achievable and realistic, these goals can't be those out of reach goals that set you up for failure. They have to be somewhere between too difficult and too easy. One year is the most common time frame. When you think about what smart goals to set for your personal life and business, you embark on a journey of self-discovery to map out what you want in life. Changing your life one step at a time starts with pen and paper, aka write these goals down. Aim for steady progress over time, not perfection. Review your progress and keep tweaking and improving your goals and milestones. Get your family and friends too to set smart goals and don't forget to celebrate every win in your journey to being a smarter Muslim. Pay attention to your self-talk. Stop telling yourself that you're not smart, strong or brave enough and combat your fear of failure. Get a life coach if you think your mind keeps you from achieving your goals. Pick the right circle. The world has all sorts of people. You have the right ones and the wrong ones. The right people are sincere and guide you to nothing but good. The wrong ones use smart tricks to misguide and deviate you from good. Atheists and others may think they are smart and brilliant with all their overflowing brains and intellect. If they cannot see and understand the signs of Allah around us, how smart are they really? The Messenger of Allah said, A man will follow the religion of his close friend. So let each one of you look at whom he befriends. Don't get carried away by the wrong people. Whether it is for friendship or business, always look for the right people to deal with and don't allow yourself to get misguided or cheated. Take care of your health. The Prophet ﷺ said, There are two blessings which many people do not make the most of and thus lose out. Good health and free time. The smart way to care for your body is by setting some health-related smart goals. For example, if you need to lose weight or build muscle, set specific action steps to have a clear path to follow, measurable criteria to see progress and deadlines to keep you accountable. You can break the goal down into smaller weekly and daily milestones to be achieved in increments to make the goal more specific, like walking for 30 minutes a day and losing 2 pounds a week. Be smart about money. Be smart about spending and don't buy anything that doesn't align with your values. Small expenses can add up, Allah says, and they are those who, when they spend, do so not excessively or sparingly, but are ever between that justly moderate. This is in Surah Al-Furqan. Educate yourself about money and become a money master. Make sure to invest smartly and create long-term wealth. You can set smart goals to achieve financial success too. Visit Fective.online often. Smart people get smarter by reading more at Fective.online. To conclude, these are just some ways to be smart about your life in this world to attain the highest levels in the hereafter. By sticking to the Quran and Sunnah, setting smart goals, paying attention to your self-talk, circle of friends, your health and your wealth, 
you'll be well on your way to becoming smarter than most people, inshallah. I'm sure there are many more ways to live life the smart way. All of you smart readers are welcome to share your thoughts and suggestions. Please do comment and share them with me. Jazakumullah khairan. Oh, wait a minute. If you want to be smart about your life goals that seem to be uncontrollably slipping away, make sure to check out my free book. The link is in the description. Assalamu alaikum.